Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Basha. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you're coming back, thank you for coming back. I'm glad you found your way here. So sit back, relax, because today we will be talking about Berkeley. Some of you probably know uh, my previous videos about Berkeley, where I talked about my audition, my scholarship, and overall my experience. I received a lot of questions about all things Berkeley related. The questions were repeating quite a lot, so I thought this would be a good video for you. Let's begin. Hi there. I saw your YouTube video about Berkeley scholarships. I was wondering how you were able to graduate without any loans. Thank you so much for your videos. Thank you so much for your message. So as you know, I attended a different university prior to transferring to Berkeley and that helped me transfer a lot of liberal arts credits from that university, which was University of North Texas. Second of all, when I auditioned for the second time, I received a bigger scholarship. Well, I received a scholarship to begin with that covered almost the entire tuition cost. I received another scholarship from the government and I worked during college. Another tip I can give you, what they do at Berkeley is that they give you those tests right at the beginning of the year to assess your uh, knowledge in music. You have four levels of music theory and ear training, things like that. When you know a bit of music already uh, and music theory, maybe you have done some ear training before, they will place you in different levels. So when I entered Berkeley, I was placed in the highest levels of ear training. So instead of doing four semesters of ear training, I only had to do one. Instead of doing four semesters of music theory, I only had to do two. And my second advice or my second big tip is that when you get accepted to Berkeley, find a job on campus because it will help you a lot. It's quite easy to get a job on campus. That way you can pay for your own expenses if your family can't help you as much. And that's how I was able to graduate without a loan. Besides healthcare, is there something else that you suggest not to get in partnership with Berkeley, like books, software, computer? Now, when it comes to computer and software and books, let's start with computer and software. I mean, you have to have an Apple laptop, like a MacBook. That's the requirement that they have. There is no way around it. So unfortunately, you can't save on that. When it comes to software, maybe you can prove to them that you already have, I don't know, Logic and Pro Tools and stuff like that, but they do offer a lot in the bundle. So I don't think there's a way around that either. And I don't think it would be a lot of money that you would save. If you want to save on books, I do recommend going to the library. They have lots of books and lots of resources. Let's say if you don't want to uh, buy the ear training book or music theory book, uh, then go to the library and study there. That is one way to save money as well. Could you give me some tips for preparing for the interview? Of course, of course I can. The interview, I think it's a very important part of the, of the whole audition process. Tip number one, Google <laughs> questions that they can possibly ask you uh, during the interview process and practice those questions. I don't know, ask your friend, ask your parent, somebody to ask you that question and then you practice responding to those questions. That's how I did it, that's how I did it with my mom. Every time we would get in the car, she would ask me a question and then I answered uh, to her. But because I prepared and because I had them, some structure um, in my mind, like what do I want to tell them, what are my strengths, it was much easier to put my thoughts in one place and answer better. On what basis does Berkeley provide scholarship? So I actually get that question a lot. The fact that you applied to Berkeley and you did your audition already qualifies you for the scholarship. So no need to do anything extra. You're already applying for the scholarship at the same time. So they give you scholarship based on your audition and interview. Like it doesn't matter to them what your, your grades are. They give scholarship based on your abilities, basically. I was curious to know, did they accept all of your credits and how many years did you stay at Berkeley? I do not remember how many credits they accepted. I do remember that while I was at UNT, I always make, made sure I even messaged Berkeley about it. When I do transfer, they will transfer my liberal arts classes to Berkeley. So let's say I was taking uh, history at UNT. It was, I think, US history. Uh, and then I made sure that this class will transfer as another, like some liberal arts class at Berkeley. So that way I do not waste my time taking this class at UNT. So I always line them up 
um, and make sure they will transfer. And if I wasn't sure, I messaged Berkeley, sent them the description of the course from UNT and ask if that would qualify for the class they require for the liberal arts. There was no problem, but they do only accept up to a certain amount of credits. So make sure before you transfer that you check how many credits they will accept. I stayed at Berkeley for three years. May I ask how long did it take for you to get your decision? I'm so nervous and anxious right now. First of all, do not be nervous. I know that the waiting time is the worst possible time ever because you just don't know what to do with yourself but if you're already waiting for your decision congratulations you've done it you auditioned you have the hardest part behind you when it comes to the decision so i auditioned in february and i received my acceptance letter with the scholarship information on march 31st at midnight <laughs> They were so, so specific about the timing. So yes, I waited until the very last day to find out that I got accepted with a scholarship. So sometimes you may have received the answer earlier, but I mean, in my case, it was the, the 31st of March. The scholarship is for one semester or for, for all semesters. Once you receive the scholarship, it's for all semesters. I'm mainly a vocalist. I'm not very comfortable playing an instrument, so I'm not very familiar with the sight reading section of the audition. So will it become a cause of disqualifications? No, it will not be a cause of disqualifications. They they know that people have never had like actual training in music. With that being said, I do 100% recommend uh, learning basics of the music theory and piano. If you do do your research and study just a bit, it will only help you while you're at Berkeley. Uh, but if you can do a little bit on your own and practice that beforehand it will be it will, it will be great for you from my experience i mean i did cwp and i'm not sure about the other majors but you will have to take two semesters of piano lessons and playing piano is is great and even if you're a vocalist i think it's it's a very useful skill that way you will be able to communicate even your ideas better to other musicians so learning piano very good beneficial skill for every musician <laughs> Yeah. Hello, I just got accepted and got a great scholarship. Congrats, that's a great news. I'm going to major in CWP as well. Congrats, <laughs> good choice. Can you share more of your experience in that major? What career are you working on right now? My experience in CWP was fantastic. You will be such a well-rounded musician and producer and arranger after this. And I bet you'll find your niche. We offer a lot of big band arrangement to quartet writing, to orchestra uh, writing, to producing pop songs, to mixing. It helps me um, communicate better with producers to write my own music, to produce my own music. Uh, so I think if that's something you like and you enjoy, uh, then you will love it. I struggled with the more technical classes like learning Pro Tools, learning Logic, but I spent hours in the lab every single day after class, I'd go to tutoring sessions, and it helped me so much with all the other projects. Well, currently I am actually pursuing my master's degree at King's College in London, so that's my current career. <laughs> Is it possible to get a scholarship as an international student? Yes, yes it is possible. Like I said earlier, if you're applying to Berkeley, you are actually applying for the scholarship as well. Is it cheaper to live on campus or off campus? Fantastic question. <laughs> absolutely off campus. Living on campus is good uh, probably for the first semester just to get to know people and like have that college experience but if you don't mind skipping that part and if you want to save money I do recommend living off campus. I lived in Alston and in Brighton. I commuted to school and I paid $700 per room per month. Well it has its ups and downs of course but if you're looking to, to save money definitely much cheaper to live off campus i loved living in alston lots of people lived there from berkeley and we had a little berkeley community there people also lived in jamaica plain and brighton as well so these are the the three that i remember uh, from my time at berkeley that were quite popular how many other people like yourself that had full scholarship have you met I did not have a full scholarship. I had a big scholarship, but it was not a full scholarship. I have met a few people with a full scholarship, not crazy amount. 
um, but a few and then I met maybe two people that had the presidential scholarship. Do you plan to do a master's? If so, will it be at Berkeley? I am doing my master's, so yes, I am pursuing my master's and no, it's not at Berkeley. So that's that when it comes to Berkeley Q&A. If you have more questions, please ask away in the comment sections or on my Instagram. I hope they were helpful. Maybe some final thoughts for you. Transfer credits, if you can, especially for the liberal arts classes. Second of all, live off campus. You'll still have a community that lives around you that is from Berkeley, so it's kind of like living on campus, but cheaper. <laughs> so live off campus. Find a job on campus, super easy, and you will have time to have a job while studying. Um, so when you do uh, have a job on campus, you will meet other Berkeley students from maybe not your major. You probably wouldn't meet otherwise. Don't shop at Whole Foods. <laughs> I don't know who does that, but don't, don't shop there. It's so expensive. Rather than that, shop at Trader Joe's. It's super close to Berkeley, both of them are. Uh, much more affordable. These are all the tips I have. If you have more questions, like I said, leave them in the comments below or message me on Instagram. I hope this will, was helpful. Uh, good luck in your Berkeley audition, your Berkeley journey. And let me know if you would like to hear more about it and you would like to have another video. Maybe I didn't answer some of your questions. I remember being in your shoes, so I hope I can be helpful to you. That's it for me. I'm glad you survived until the very end of this video. <laughs> And I hope to see you in the next one really, really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.